I'll take it. Watch Doncic. I think it's futile to try to distract this guy. His focus and concentration and control of himself is uh, excellent. Here's Johnson. Scott can't get it to go. Doncic with it. Here's Johnson picking him up. And it's Doncic missing. Now the Lakers on the break. Outside, Scott. Pass to Abdul Jabbar. And stolen by Richardson. And here is Cleveland. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Richardson outside. Now, here's Cleveland. Stolen oh, by Magic. Bro. James Worthy on the win. To the inside. Rzingis with the steal. To the middle. Inside. And it's blocked by... <laughs> he blocked it. <laughs> and now, here's Johnson. Okay. A fast break chance. Magic knocks it down. He shot 52% from the field in his years with the Lakers. Yeah, you know, Johnson plays with such confidence and effervescence in the open floor. You never know what he's going to do, but most of the time, he makes a good decision. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Los Angeles. Drive by Scott, lays it up and banks it in. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. Not and the rejection by Abdul Jabbar. <laughs> and it's clean with the jam. Okay. I tell you what, the peripheral vision, the court awareness of Johnson, this guy always knows when one of his teammates is open. The Lakers in the lead. Scott with the ball. And it's Richardson picking him up. From outside, off the mark. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up for Dallas. They couldn't put the pieces together, losing the last matchup with the Lakers. Well, they made a few key shots, but missed many more. It was a rough night for them offensively. And you know what? If you're not going to outwork your opposition, then you typically are going to get outplayed. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Ball's not loose. And here is Los Angeles now. He logs up the only pitch. What? From deep. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this day. Hey, let's face it. Some of the shots Redick makes are unguardable. He knows he can drain it from way deep. Good block. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Off the inbound. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. Six on the shot clock. Me, JJ. Imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be. But so far, that's not been the case. Master Gullis dying. Back to Brunson. It's up a three. Hope they'll get another chance. Outside, Reddick. The Mavericks now. They trail by one. 
To Hardaway, five to shoot. And on the wing, Hardaway. Trying to get open as well. <laughs> okay. Hardaway, no good. Takes the three. Outside for Reddick. Good. And the assist goes to Dunkley. Reddick's got six. This is why you must play up on Reddick because he's terrific at shooting off the bat. Down low. Johnson outside. Y'all really gonna do it, bro. Come on, bro. Bail out city. Watching Johnson exert his will down low now, using his height and quick release quite well inside. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. And they double up Johnson. Still on the way. Brzingis trying to get free. And a miss there on the triple. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebound and advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the board, we're certainly seeing the effort. Uncovered. What? Scott. Are y'all serious, 2K? He's got six. Well, Byron Scott knows how to get the ball in the basket, folks. He's a good score and really makes an impact on offense. To the paint, Rosingas. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. In a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats for Los Angeles. Boy, you have to admire their intensity in the paint defensively. I mean, really contesting and even blocking shots. Definitely a factor early. Yeah, the other thing, though, is they have attacked in the open floor. They're definitely getting a lot of easy ones that way. Johnson surveying the floor. Banked in off the glass. Johnson's got five points in the quarter. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Well, this is a ridiculous stop. Lakers lead by four. Right side, Scott. Lock at six. And there's another one for the Lakers. And the knee mm -hmm. just a step slow. We're going to build a lead up. Step back. And the tight play for Zingas. Oh, what a brilliant find by Doncic. Outside, Scott. Locked up there for Thompson. And the lead should be safe if they can keep shooting the basketball like this. Yeah, they're cracking. Absolutely cracking and looking to pad that lead. Richardson gets a wide open look. No good on the triple. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. Here's Scott all alone. It's no good. He is four for ten in the game. Inside. Back to Kleba. Some nice passing here by Dallas. The drive by Doncic. And the dunk by Doncic. Johnson outside. That one goes in for him too, making it look easy. He's now four Get for four. Get on the seven six and and guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Fifty-six seconds left in the first half. In the corner, it's Richardson. Mr. Persingas. In the corner, it's Richardson. Six to shoot. Reddick is in the corner. And the three off target. And then they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. 
Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Outside, Reddick. And Bogdanovich with the slam. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Yeah, and if you look at it, had they been converting those second chances all along instead of waiting until now, who knows? And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. The Los Angeles made two of the previous three free throws in today's game. And the technical free throw is good. And, you know, Michael Cooper reportedly doesn't cut his fingernails. A Opposing players have actually complained about leaving games with... Launches it, buries it from three-point range. Scott's got 11 points. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Can have the basketball just over a minute played so far. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Reddick for three. No good that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Here's the lob to the hoop. And Worthy throws it down. Oh, and the lead gets bigger on a ridiculous offensive sequence. That dunk alone would have been spectacular. Never mind it coming at the end of an alley oop. Well, I tell you what, they've got this team just a step away from being completely asleep. And that's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. That should give them a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt here. And, you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big-time finish there. Matthews, what's up? Back and forth. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. And that one's good by Abdul Jabbar. And don't let the lean physique fool you. Kareem, with the strength to finish through contact, as well as anybody who's ever played. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. And off the shot, so he'll get a chance to go on. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force them to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give them a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Older. Hey, Kevin, it's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting, people don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. Many of the league's elite players still thrive there. Kawhi Leonard is one, and he explained how. He said, it's hard to defend guys that shoot twos. Once you get to the playoffs, it becomes a half-court game. Teams won't allow you to take wide-open shots or threes. Guys, back to you. D.A., thank you. Encouraging to see Hardaway Jr. knock it down from there, proving he can do Oh, my goodness! They have been bored dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Man, it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. Hardaway for three. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Lakers. This is the most they've led by, 13 points. Abdul Jabbar up top. Just fine to shoot. Pass to Worthy. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And the foul called on the Dallas Mavericks. One of the most feared, versatile scorers 
at that forward position. Big game James always seems to make the most out of any situation. So it's the Mavericks now. 15 point game. Here's Moyanovich. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. But you know guys, we know Hardaway can score, but when he makes these passes, it makes him a lot more dangerous. Throws it up high. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Pass to Brunson. Back to Hardaway. Marjanovic with it. Hardy by Green. It's Brunson, top of the key. Connects from three-point range. Lakers lead by 10. Here's Johnson. Now off the inbound. And Doncic throws it down. Nice work there from Doncic. Saw an opportunity to pass in and didn't let it go awry. Johnson right side. Back to Matthews. Doncic is looking a lot better. I mean, when he works hard at that end of the floor, he can get up and block some shots, too. Not a lot of them, but he can block a few. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. Outside Hardaway. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Yeah, that's too good a look to give him from behind the arc. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone here. Pass to Thompson. And the officials call for a three-second violation. The average trail by seven. Here's Cleveland. Cleveland slams it in. Out to Doncic. And one. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. Wow, he is lighting it up here in the second half. That free throw good from Doncic. You know, he's the third pick in the 2018 draft, guys, and Doncic seems poised to dominate this league for a lot of years. On the wing, he pulled the shot a little left, but the bounce goes his way. Mm -hmm. And the Lakers lead by five. Not the best of shot selection there, but you know what? You do not look the gift horse in the mouth. Chalk up two there. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Johnson, right side. Pass to Rambles. Six on the shot clock. Outside ah. Hardaway. Hardaway's got nine points here in the second half. Unflappable under pressure. You see why they give it to Hardaway Jr. Because he knows how to rise to the occasion. He just wide the fuck open, TK. Come on, bro. Crushing blow to the host right there. I mean, they were in this game for what felt like only a second before instantly giving that three-pointer. And as soon as they back. that bomb, the air just went right out of the building. The total deflation. Master Johnson. Oh. You know, when Porzingis combines quickness with his reach, getting off the floor like that, he can block just about any shot. Here's Paul Stein. It's going to Green. <laughs> Outside, Scott. Bobbed up there for Green. 
You're a shooter, but you ever going to the right. So they foul intentionally. I'll say you see. Here are the Lakers. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Yeah, I'll say so. Intentional foul. It's the first that makes it a seven-point lead. And Johnson is an elite talent, a special talent. A very unique point guard with amazing size. About 6'9", he can flat out take over games because he virtually can play every position. Hard away, no good. Outside, Scott. Jacks up a three. And again, the Lakers, no good. And so the Lakers take the win.